Hello, everyone, and thank you for just taking time out of your day to join us for today's Heart to Home devotional. Uh, before we get started, let's close open in prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you and we lift this time up to you, Lord. I pray that you help us to just get rid of the distractions, Lord, uh, that may be surrounding us. Father, I pray that we just focus on you and your word um, and just what you've given us today, Father. We thank you that we're able to come together, Lord, and seek you and be with you, Father. So we just thank you and praise you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so um, when it comes my turn to share with you guys, most of the time the Lord's put something on my heart because something's come up, something's happened, um, something I've personally gone through. And so with that said, um, something was kind of brought to my attention recently that just sunk in and it's come to mind a few times since the conversation. And so, um, I don't know about you, but uh, there are situations that I come across that tend to get me a little, okay, I'm not going to lie, a lot anxious. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to be transparent, it, it gets to the point where I even have uh, <laughs> dreams about things going wrong. And um, it's not until my situation is over that I'm like, okay, everything went fine. Uh, I panicked for nothing like usual again. Um, but a wise man once told me, um, he had heard this quote and it was, anxiety is the anticipation of future suffering. And when I, th when I thought about that, it's so true. Um, we get anxious of the anticipation of something happening. Not that it's already going wrong, but we're anticipating that something's gonna go wrong. At least I do. Um, and it's not until everything is passed that I can relax. Um, so like I had said, um, this was shared with me in a very loving way. And um, they said, you know, you get yourself all worked up for nothing. You know what you're doing. You've done this a hundred times everything always works out and uh that just really stuck with me it was kind of like an eye opener it's like well you're right i i do get all worked up and everything goes fine um so that brings me to this verse i'm going to read it out of the esv version it's found in first peter chapter 5 verses 6 and 7 and it says peter says humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god so that at the proper time he may exalt you casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you so we're told to cast our anxieties on him but why well we heard it's because he cares for us um we're not meant to do things on our own right um he's our heavenly father and he wants to come alongside of us and help us through these difficult situations. Um, but something I want to point out is a specific word, and it's the word cast. And as I was kind of looking further into this verse, I found that the word cast is actually an energetic word. It doesn't mean to lay your anxieties or give him these situations, but to cast them. And uh, I like how Spurgeon said it so well. He said, this work of casting can be so difficult that we need to use two hands to do it. The hand of prayer and the hand of faith. Prayer tells God what the care is and asks God to help, while faith believes that God can and will do it. Prayer spreads the letter of trouble and grief before the Lord and opens all its budget and then faith cries, I believe that God cares and cares for me. I believe that he will bring me out of my distress and make it promote his own glory. I just loved that. And that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, we need to throw it to him and, and allow him to help us. However, 
something important that we need to remember is when we do throw it and give it to him, we need to make sure not to go back up and take it back. We need to leave it with him. It's kind of like I thought of, a lot of you know Brandon and I like fishing, and I thought about casting your your fishing pole. You know, you don't cast it and keep reeling it back in and casting, and you're not going to catch fish. You cast it and let it sit and wait for the bite to come. So the next time you find yourself um, anxious about something, give it to the Lord and leave it with Him. I want to close with this verse. It's found in Philippians 4, 6 or 7, one of those verses we all know. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, as we finish today, Lord, I just, um, we thank you, Lord, that you are there for us to go to, Lord, in these anxious times, Lord, that we can give over our anxieties and our worries to you, Lord, and leave them with you, um, knowing that you will take care of us, Father. So, Lord, I lift up anyone who's struggling with anything right now that they do just give it to you and leave it with you, Father. We just thank you and praise you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.